Season in North Central Florida is finally wrapping up, but people in Southwest Florida are still feeling the impact of insects after Hurricane Ian. In this week's What's Going On, TV20 Scott Gagliardi will tell us about a donation of mosquito traps made to help those victims. <laughs> Growing On, sponsored by Alachua County Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. A product that was developed in a University of Florida lab designed to protect American soldiers from insect-borne diseases is helping wage war against the surge of mosquitoes in areas hardest hit by Hurricane Ian. We actually first developed uh, the mosquito insecto mosquito trap for use with, with our deployed forces. It was funded by the Department of Defense in their deployed warfighter protection program. Kaler says in World War II, more troops were dying due to malaria rather than the opposition forces. So this kind of technology was crucial. And for a decade, he worked to perfect the science behind the traps. He partnered with a Gainesville-based business, Insecto, to produce them. And the way it works is pretty simple. Well, first of all, it works by color. So red and black, we would have preferred orange and blue. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but the mosquitoes like the colors red and black. The trap, which is made from recycled plastic, is activated by simply adding water and lasts for three months. A tea bag filled with organic matter inside the trap makes the water smell stagnant. High humidity and low airflow also attracts the mosquitoes. Now all mosquito larvae are killed by the microdose coating of insecticides when female mosquitoes enter the trap to lay their eggs. This week, Insecto donated 100,000 traps to communities struggling with large mosquito populations as a result of the floodwaters left behind by Hurricane Ian's rain and storm surge. Some of the traps were actually flown onto Sanibel Island Island the other day by helicopter in order to make them available to residents there. Kaler says mosquito eggs can live for several years without touching any water. So when floodwaters rise, it allows hatchlings from not just this year, but the last five years to hatch. The $2.3 million donation was deployed to four Florida counties, including Orange, Lee, Charlotte, and Collier. To learn more about the Insecto Mosquito Trap, visit our website. That's WCJB.com. Reporting in Gainesville, Scott Gagliardi, TV 20 News.